a lot of people ask me that hey madhav i'm not able to solve coding questions i'm not able to maintain my consistency and i'm not able to approach coding question what should i do what should be the solution for this so don't worry this is your friend the lean programmer and in today's video i am going to discuss a simple solution for this and i'm going to give you seven tips that you should definitely follow if you are into competitive programming or if you want to start problem solving coding questions data structures and algorithms and so on so do watch this video till the end and do like share and subscribe so that you can reach more people so without any further delay let's get started So I hope that you guys are super excited to know these seven tips which I'm going to share with you today. But before we get started, if you want to access these slides, if you want to see these slides, even in future, you can go to my GitHub repository, which is githubcom slash slides In this repository, you can find all the slides for my all the presentations for my YouTube videos, for my previous YouTube videos as well, and for my upcoming videos as well. So don't forget to star this repository and um do share it with your friends as well so let's get started so as i told in the beginning of this video as well that a lot of people approach me saying that hey madhav help me i am not able to understand coding questions i think coding is not for me i try but i'm not able to solve coding questions i'm not able to come up with solutions cp is so boring i'm not able to maintain consistency in problem solving i feel demotivated so are you feeling the same if you are feeling the same don't worry i have a solution for you but this solution might feel very common and you already know this so the solution for this is the only way out of this particular situation is no matter how difficult it seems it is deliberate practice deliberate practice is basically a, a sort of practice where you don't just do beginner level problems you deliberately get out of comfort zone to actually do things which are which you don't feel comfortable in for example maybe um doing hard competitive uh, programming questions or maybe doing medium to advanced level questions so these things are the this is the only way in which you can grow but don't worry let me come to the seven tips which i told you that i will be telling you today and then the things will be much clearer so let's get started so yes uh, the things can be made much simpler by these seven tips so the first one is start small and stay strong always always remember this tip i have followed this tip in my whole life and i'm going to follow this ahead as well whenever you whenever you start something new start small and stay strong for example let's say if you want to learn swimming you will start off with some shallow water right you will start off with uh, let's say 3 feet or 4 feet you will not def directly jump into the ocean right you will not directly jump into 10 feet or 12 feet water So yes the same thing applies in every field of life start strong stay strong and gradually gradually improve your game so trust me nothing happens overnight but yes let's uh, let's see further as well so the thing here is the point which i'm trying to convey here is start off with beginner level problems for example for the first if you are a complete beginner for the first 10 to 15 days you can you can just start off with some beginner level problems the benefit of doing this will be it will boost up your confidence these are some very very simple problems for example pattern uh, creating a pattern and printing a pattern and so on and this will help you make problem solving a habit so a simple tip from my side for the first 10 to 15 days just take out 30 to 45 minutes or maybe 1 hour depending on how much you can take out just take it out every day for the first 10 to 15 days and do simple problems that will be very very beneficial because you will start enjoying you will not feel demotivated now the second tip is don't directly jump onto the code like um this is very very important a lot of people i have seen that whenever they are given any uh, given any problem they just start writing code for it this is this is a very very bad habit and uh, while it might work for simple problems but it's never going to work for difficult problems so what you should do remember that thinking part always comes before the coding part you have to think properly you have to think about the input the output the edge cases and the examples and and so on where can your code fail and where 
will your code pass and, and so on. So plan out some basic algorithm, see some examples, see some input and output or some methods in which you are going to and plan out some methods in which you are going to approach this problem. So I have made a full video on this, on the five things that you should definitely do while solving any coding question. So do check it out. It's on my YouTube uh, channel and it will be very, very helpful. So yes. Third point is for today, don't just solve, learn from it. This is again very important. I can't tell you the how how important this is i have seen a lot of people what they do is just for the consistency just for the sake of it because a lot of platforms like github itself you must have seen in on github they have this contribution chart a lot of coding uh, <coughs> competitive programming websites and platforms also have this so just to increase just to show that they have been doing it daily they'll just uh, they'll just do maybe they'll just copy and paste from the uh, internet and so on so the point here is not how much you can solve the point is what you get out of it so i believe that from each and every problem that you solve you get some experience you learn some new technique you learn some things that you can apply in future problems in in other coding questions that you do in future so always remember that it is not at all about solving 100 problems. It is about what you learn by those by solving those 100 problems. Do think about it. Great. So fourth point for today is do not undervalue theory. Theory seems very, very boring, right? Theory, nobody likes to do theory and we just want to jump onto the code. We just want to do something. We just want to code it out. But trust me, guys, that keeping your <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Keeping your concepts clear is also an essential part of solving problems. Unless and until your uh, theory part is clear, you will not be able to solve those difficult level problems. So yes, <clears throat> and uh, we can give a little example of this. For example, if you, do, if you don't have knowledge about enough data structures, you will never know which data structure to use in which particular uh, scenario. So yes, this is very, very important. Now, the fifth point is very important. So the first point which I said was start off with some beginner level problems so that you don't feel demotivated to increase your motivation and make problem solving a habit. You should definitely start off with a uh, beginner level pro beginner level problems. But the thing here is that we should not remain a beginner for a lifetime. When you start doing those beginner level problems, you will feel so comfortable in doing them and you will start doing problems similar to that again and again. In your mind, you will feel that you are growing, but actually the truth is that beginner level problems are not going to take you anywhere. So the thing is, after you get comfortable, after you make a habit of solving problems, uh, level up your game like uh, start solving medium level problems start 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 increasing the difficulty level and that is how you are going to grow the sixth point for today is learn to unblock yourself this is this is so 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 important i have seen a lot of people being stuck over a simple problem uh, and they sometimes they are stuck over that problem for days that is not at all good trust me guys like if a single problem is going is taking too much time at least uh, like if it's taking more than one hour or two hours approach people or maybe see the solution if you have a mentor talk it out with him like ask him like um what what wrong i might be doing here and what's the solution if you don't have a mentor try to so see the solution of that particular problem on internet i'm not asking you to copy and paste the code i'm just asking you to understand the solution and code it out yourself so yes if a single problem is taking too much time see the solution and try to code it out yourself that way you will be able to unblock yourself seventh and the last point for today will be don't stress too much about a single problem so again we we have this habit of stressing over too much over a single problem it's it's completely genuinely and perfectly fine to not be able to solve a problem we nobody is born perfect right we all learn from our experiences so yes it is completely fine not be able to not be able to solve a problem everyone faces this situation accept it and move on if you were not able to solve any coding problem do not do not keep that in mind for two or three days and and 
feel demotivated it happens with everyone and problems are set so that people do not should not be able to solve them right and you are there so that you you can solve them so slowly and gradually you will grow remember rome was not built in a day it takes time it takes months to actually get some good level of experience so yes all the best and keep coding and do subscribe to my youtube channel the lean programmer bye bye see you in the next video